Breaking In is a new film that's coming out Mother's Day weekend. How convenient. And stars a mother who, with her two kids, go to uh, her father's house to prepare it to be sold. And along the way, there are people that try and break in. Hence the title, and you know, that's pretty much the film. The reason why I sound so tired is because getting through this 88-minute film was hard. And I think it was nice that the film was less than 90 minutes. But at the same time, it was kind of difficult to watch because it was just so boring. I, I hate that word. Whenever someone says boring, I immediately think, okay, the movie's probably good. Um, unless it's about blockbusters. But I'm saying this right now, this film was boring. Because even when there was action, the thriller elements, it was PG-13 action. And it just felt so uneventful. Um, you know, the, it felt like the stakes weren't even there. Um, you have these characters that really aren't fleshed out. I mean, how could they be? It's 90 minutes and it's... Done by a director who, who is usually good with character development. I mean, at least from what I've seen from him, V for Vendetta. You know, I recently saw that again. I was like, you know, this this is a good movie. It is a good character-driven film with spurts of well-done action. But it's also an R-rated movie. This is a PG-13 movie, and the action clearly is just trying to be PG-13. It, it's, it's not even trying to be intense at all. Um, this feels like the type of movie that you could watch with your mother, hence Mother's Day. And if she likes thrillers, she'll probably really get a kick out of it. Um, but other than that, this is like a movie of the week. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the type of movie where in a month from now, even a week or two, if you say, hey, have you heard of Breaking In? People are going to be like, what? But right now, yeah, it's going to be relevant because it's going to be fighting for first place. Well, probably second place because Infinity War is still in theaters. But it's going to be fighting for second place with Life of the Party because it's Mother's Day weekend. And it's like when you think about it, like two films that are both coming out around Mother's Day that both are dealing with strong female leads. It just – it's kind of a shame because it's like I, I am all about having strong female leads. However, I want – them to be in movies that are actually good and actually give them stuff to work with. And unfortunately, with both films, both Life of the Party and now Breaking In, you you have these characters that aren't fleshed out. You, you have them in, in these roles that just feel like they're, they're just pl trying to play on your emotions rather than being organic and natural with the flow of... Uh, you know, character interactions as well as just overall thinking for themselves. I don't know. It's really a shame. But again, from a filmmaking perspective, Breaking In is awful. From an entertainment perspective, I was bored out of my mind. Um, again, I hate that, that, that word, but it fits. It fits for this film. Um, I, again, the only real positive thing they go of is it's 88 minutes. That's it. But at the end of the day, it's also not a film that hurt me. You know, it didn't personally attack me like 15, 17 pairs or, you know, 50 sheets free or acrimony. But overall, you know, breaking in, I'd give it a two out of five star rating. You know, it's kind of generous, but why not? You know, it's Mother's Day weekend. So if you guys have seen Breaking In, though, um, was I being too harsh? Did you get a kick out of it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget the subscription and notification bell. And I will catch you guys later. Uh, quick sign note. Hope you guys have a good Mother's Day. And uh, next week, Deadpool 2.